Welcome back guys to day 15 of GSGZ, 25 days of crystal tutorials. Today we're making the UNSC Warthog. This is probably one of the uh, uh, most done vehicles that I've actually made. Uh, but this one is quite a, uh, quite a new iteration of it. So this one actually kind of just refines a lot of the details from the last ones. So this one is pretty much the same scale. Uh, it just uses a lot of new materials and techniques that I hadn't used before. So uh, notable things are like the replacement of slabs under here with iron trap doors. Uh, these levers on the wheels kind of represent the axles in a way that uh, kind of the, I think it's the suspension actually. It's sort of like, uh, I think in Halo 3 and before that, or maybe Reach actually, uh, before that point it was just these uh, kind of arms that connected it up to the body and then they bounced off those arms. Then after Halo 4, I think when they introduced the new Warthog model, they had kind of uh, also shocks behind the wheels as well. So this is more like a uh, Reach style Warthog uh, than anything else. So yeah, this is just a quick turnaround of it. I noticed in the last video, uh, someone said that they wanted to see the vehicle shown off before the tutorial. I did kind of agree with that. In some ways I thought, well, maybe, uh, you know, it's good to have a little surprise to see the finished product and it is in the thumbnail as well. But yeah, here you go. Here's a little uh, showcase of, of the vehicle. And I guess if you do want to see that, I will do that uh, in every video. It's just I like to, uh, with this Christmas one, I like to start it in the Christmas world and the vehicle isn't in there already because I build it in the world for the tutorial and then I leave it there. Uh, and it would just be a bit annoying to have two of the same vehicle, one that I used for the uh, intro and one that I built during the tutorial. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but unlike most other of the uh, recent Halo tutorials that have been in the Christmas world, this one isn't pre-recorded. This one is actually a uh, fully up-to-date one. But yeah, and with that, guys. So you've uh, you've seen most of the details. Uh, yeah, let's just let's get into it. On to uh, layer one. Okay, so for layer one, uh, materials you're gonna need a chisel, stone brick, stone slab, iron trap door, dark oak fence gate, end rod, iron frame, iron bars, and then we will need stone brick stairs and a load of other materials afterwards. But I've just put it in there so that you know it spaces out the inventory a little bit. You're gonna start off by doing a chisel, stone bricks here, and then a three gap between it, and again. And then on the uh, any side, whichever, it doesn't matter, uh, you want to leave a gap of one and do the same thing again. Then what you want to also take here is a lever, and you're just going to put the uh, lever on the inside of those wheels, like so. Okay, so you should get this. Now that's probably one of the most uh, cool changes, I think, with this version of the Warthog. Uh, another one here we go, we put a stone slab there and there. Instead of doing three like that and then one in the middle, this time we're going to do the same thing, but with iron trap doors, like so. And it just gives the uh, underside of the body a bit more of a uh, sleek and thinner appearance, which is good. Uh, it always was a bit a bit too fat on the undercarriage. Uh, something you definitely shouldn't say to your uh, to your wife. <laughs> anyway, on uh, one side you're going to put a uh, fence gate like that, and then an end rod, ed, not an end rod, an end rod on either side of it. Then on the front you're going to put a uh, another fence gate like that. Or oh, actually, no, before you do that, put an item frame and then an iron bars and then do that. There you go. Because it's I don't think you can place it down once you've put the fence gate there. Anyway, once you've done that, you can throw the uh, item frame and the iron bars and everything. Uh, keep the end rods because we will use those again. Uh, you can throw away the chilled stone bricks as well. Uh, now I want you to put the stone brick stairs at the front, the stone slab, iron trap door there, end rod here. And then you're going to also need... Let's move on. We need uh, black stained glass. We need black stained glass pane. We need green carpet. Uh, we need lime stained clay. Uh, you can also use uh, green concrete if you want, or even green st uh, t stained clay or terracotta. It doesn't really matter what color of green you use, it will just sort of reflect the color of your warthog. Um, so yeah. And the last thing you're gonna need is a brewing stand, which is in brewing, as you would expect. Anyway, so from here, you're gonna put a stem brick stair there and there, and a stone slab in the middle. <laughs> then you're going to put a uh, set of two lime on either side of it, like so. Stone brick stairs there like that, and then turn it. The same thing again, there, and then turn it. Same thing on all four sides, uh, like with most of the warthogs. And so remember that this one is the back end, this one is the front end. You're then going to do uh, three upside down stairs on the front end and three top half slabs on the back end. So you should get this. 
Okay. From there, you're going to put the uh, brewing stand. Now, it doesn't really matter what direction you place this from because I think it always faces like north or something. Uh, I don't know which direction. Uh, you would assume north. Ah, east. Okay. It faces east. But it is better when the uh, singular, uh, as you can see here, look, there's like two on the back, one on the front. It's better when that front one is the single one, the back has two. Uh, so that kind of influences the way you will place the warthog down. Once you've done that, you're going to put an iron trap door on either side of that, and then a stone brick stairs facing inwards. For the uh, front half, you're going to do two black stained glass and two black stained glass panes, like with most other ones. Green carpet here. Then you're going to take iron trap doors, just do two here, and that's cool. Now, what's good about using iron trap doors here instead of slabs is that it gives a lot more headroom in case you want to put someone in here. Now, I, I don't know where you could put someone in here without actually... Um, I think you could maybe put a rail down. Someone suggested this actually in the uh, last video. Uh, oh, you can't put a rail there. One way you can modify it, I guess, is if you put a rail down. Uh, obviously, you need to, uh, you'd need to change the middle uh, trapdoor for a slab and it does detract from the look a bit. But if you put that down, then put a minecart on that rail, you can sit in the warthog. Uh, so thank you to who suggested that. Uh, I can't remember exactly who it was. Oh, I'm now I'm stuck in it. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I guess that's a good way to have someone able to actually sit in the vehicle. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it as that because I like the way that uh, it looks like this. I know you can't sit in this one, but yeah, like I said, you can modify it and just put a uh, minecart in there if you want to. I'll uh, I'll leave the name of the person who did that or suggested that in the comments. Um, yeah, I'll just put it in the comments. Anyway, on top of the brewing stand, you're gonna to want to put a uh, a stone slab and then two end rods. Then right on the back, you're just gonna put a uh, dark oak fence gate behind that and then turn it. Okay, and once you've done that, that's gonna be everything, I think. Uh, so yeah. With that, guys, thank you for watching day 15 of the 25 days of tutorials, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.